As a young teenager, Marley Scott knew she wanted to be a singer. After rediscovering country music on the radio, she jumped in with both feet. Her latest album, Beautiful Maybe, was released last month on Big Ride Records. And we had a chance to talk to Marley about her music and the new album. Here's Kelly with more. It's a beautiful day on Music Row, and we are here catching up with Marley Scott. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Now, I have to ask you, you have a great album out right now, and there's a single right now called Trainwreck. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that single. Trainwreck is, you know, it's one of those kind of tongue-in-cheek, quirky songs, and I just fell in love with it the instant I heard the demo of it, and, and uh, it's just, it basically celebrates the bad date, to put it in, in short form, and, uh, you know, we've all had our fair share of bad dates. I mean, I know I have, and I think it's just something that we can all relate to and and uh, you know it's about a guy who, who continuously goes on these really bad dates with this train wreck of a girl she's kind of a mess and uh, he can't seem to get enough of her so it's uh, it's a lot of fun it's one of our favorite songs to play live with the band and and uh, you know the video was a lot of fun to shoot as well and and uh, I, I just I love the song speaking of that now you had what three different girls in the video is that right and then you where did you shoot that we shot it at this old I guess it was an old train station in town and really cool like hardwood floors and and uh, you know exposed brick and it was really neat and we just were able to do the whole video in that place which is great it's always nice to have in one location for a video shoot and basically the concept was you know we had these three train wreck girls we had uh, you know a really nerdy girl we had a really butchy girl and and they were train very wrecks different. yes very different and they couldn't get a date basically and it was speed dating so they're going around and they're basically scaring all the guys away and uh, it, it was a really funny concept and when we were shooting, we were actually laughing out loud because they're acting. And so they're saying things like out loud and we're just like trying to not laugh. And anyways, it was a lot of fun. And then I kind of swoop in as the fairy godmother and, and help these girls kind of, you know, dress a little better and do their hair a little better and, and help them with hygiene oh. and, you know, basically to get them a date. So there's a big reveal at the end of the video of these girls walking down and the hallway and, you know, showing their new looks. Get off the train. The Marley Scott people out there that are watching, what would be the one thing that they should know about you that maybe we haven't covered? We know the music. What else is what else is there to know? Something really cool and <laughs> well, I mean, probably some people know this. I do love to bake and I love to be in the kitchen. I have these webisodes called Make It or Bake It and I, I put them up online every two months or so and, and uh, it's basically, I grew up loving to bake with my mom. My mom actually pulled me out of school one day to um, bake cookies with her, Christmas cookies with her Aww. because there was no other time at Christmas time that my sister and I could do it. So she actually pulled us out of school one day to do Christmas baking and uh, I just, I fell in love with being in the kitchen and, and so uh, I do these webisodes and kind of show people this kind of quirky uh, fun side of me that I, I, I make a fool of myself. I dress in costume. I, I made a banana bread shaped like a football in the fall and I dressed as a cheerleader so oh, for the football fun. season. The latest one is um, is a NASCAR theme, so I'm dressed in a kind of a NASCAR checkered outfit, and uh, I made a, a taco dip and a, and a martini. It's it's a lot of fun, and it's just a great way to reach out to my fans and, and just show them that I have this other kind of silly side of me, and I'm not afraid to, to make fun of myself. That girl is just a train. I can't wait to get out to the fans and, and play them the music and for them to actually be able to purchase the record is fantastic because I, I've been waiting for so long for, for people to hear it and to hear what their favorite songs are and let me know their opinion. So it's it's going to be a great summer. Exciting time. Yeah. All right, Marley Scott, everybody make sure that you get out and get her new album, Beautiful Maybe, and listen for the single. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week we sit down with Robin Ruddy as she talks about writing hooks that you can sing along with. I love to write songs that have singable hooks, that have something in the melody that makes it easy for somebody to sing along. And one of my favorite things to do is when I'm performing, to be watching the people in the audience and if they're singing along to my song, by the end of the song I know I've done a good job of writing a memorable, singable hook. 
To learn more about NSAI, visit NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show, but don't forget those new Beautiful Maybe discs we have up for grabs from Marley Scott. Enter online, only at InsideMusicRow.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page, too, for all the latest news and events going on around town. We're going to leave you today with that new video from Eden's Edge. Here is Too Good to Be True. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.